Hello, welcome back to the Girl Next Door channel. I am Wiri Mongua and today we're making a basic called string art. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week. So what you need for the basic called string art is a printed template of what you want to make art out of. In our case, a bicycle, Google for the picture, then print it. A chopping board, nails, hammer, any type of tape, super glue, and scissors. Place the template on top of the chopping board, then tape it so as it stays at a fixed position. We are going to start with hammering the nails so as to form the outline of the bicycle but what we are not going to do is making the pedals and the steering wheel. Hammer one nail each at the center of both the bicycle tires. Hammer the nails at the inner outline of the bicycle tire now since the bicycle spikes were too close to each other, I hammered the nails at an interval of one and a half spikes. This will allow my fingers to have ample space as I'm holding the next nail while hammering it. Now repeat that process to the outer outline of the tile, but just hammer the nails exactly behind the inner nails. Hammer some extra nails that we'll use to make the metal bars that connect the wheels and the gear, making sure at every curve and joint there is a nail. Hammer one nail at the center of the gear, then at the outline of the gear, making sure they form a circular shape. There are two ways to make the string art. The first one which is actually the easiest is making the bicycle art while the template is still intact. The only issue is that it's a bit too hard to take off the template when the strings are there like you're seeing right now. So I decided to go with option 2 which first you remove the template from the board and put it aside then make your string art as you refer to it when you're not sure of where to direct the string. But pretty much it's easy to direct the string since we all know how bicycles look like, right? We are using yarn to make string art and make sure you entangle it once at every nail before you head over to the next. At the center of the back wheel, I added extra nails as this will give the string a curved shape to form the metal bar that joins the back wheel to the gear. Repeat those two steps three to four times until it's thick enough to your liking. When you see that a nail is wobbly, that means that it's not firm enough, so just hammer it down. Use 
super glue or fabric glue to finish off the yarn so as to prevent it from unraveling. When you feel there's no extra space at the nail for the string to pass through, just press the spikes down to create more room.
Here I'm making one side of the triangle metal bar, but the easier way is making the triangle at once instead of making one metal bar at a time, as you'll see in the next step. I would recommend you buy a board that has a hanging hook, but since mine doesn't, I'll have to drill some holes. So using a ruler, mark the center of the board, then mark one inch to the left and right of the center mark. And of course, I'm using a sacrificial piece of wood so that I don't drill through my table. For easier passage of the rope through the holes, use cello tape to tape the ends together. Make a knot, then twist them. So you can hang this at a boy's room or gift it to your mans alongside a pair of socks. And yes, I did a poll and 4 out of 5 men loved it. Also, give me your feedbacks. I really, really enjoy reading them. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share widely. And that's it for today, guys. I'll get to you right back here next week. Bye!